welcome back to my channel. My name's Stephanie here on YouTube and if you like all things luxury fashion lifestyle videos then you should definitely hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell to get notified when I upload new videos. So for today's video as you can tell from the title I'm just going to be doing a review on the Cartier two diamond necklace i think i got it earlier in the year around my birthday i will insert a clip here obviously like while i'm talking because i if you want to see like the official unboxing that was during like what i got for my birthday earlier this year so you guys should definitely check that out if you want to see the official unboxing but basically for this video i just want to give you like my pros and cons with this and like how i like came about this because i feel like this is really a known necklace but basically I just watch Sierra Furtado's videos and I like absolutely like loved her fashion and all the jewelry pieces that she always has and I know for like I think it was last year or two years ago her fiance ended up gifting this necklace for her for her as a Christmas gift and ever since then I was like oh my god it looks so nice and I feel like it was just like it made all of her outfits like pop a lot more and the more and more I kept seeing it in her videos, the more and more I'm like, I really just like want to go to the store and see how this looks because it looks really nice. So basically I ended up going to the Cartier store for my birthday and then I saw this one. Let me just give you guys the official name of this one. So like I said, this one is the Love Necklace 2 Diamond and I got it in the yellow gold and it's 18 karat yellow gold. So yeah, I mean, I feel like the pricing is pretty similar to the Van Cleef and Arpel pendant necklace, like the vintage Alhambra one, so the bigger one. I want to say like the pricing is probably around the same, but honestly, I feel like I have that necklace and I definitely like gravitate towards this necklace a lot more now, just because I feel like it goes with a lot more outfits. A it's like a lot more subtle I feel like too and also I feel like it's not really like a big like known necklace like I feel like the Van Cleef and Arpel necklace it's like everyone just has it at this point and I'm kind of just like sick of seeing it everywhere so I feel like that's why I probably like gravitate towards this one more just because like it's not so known and like yeah it, like I said it's just like a lot more subtle and like classy not saying that the Van Cleef and Arpel one isn't but that's just like my opinion and I think that's like a big reason why too I ended up getting it just because it was just something that I really liked and wasn't kind of just like a trend that was going on. Basically, let me just go ahead and try it on for you guys just so you can see it. I normally, honestly, like wear this every day or at least like anytime I'm going out, this is usually the necklace that you see me wearing. Basically, there's two clasps for you when you want to put it on. I usually put it on the last one, but sometimes if I have a shirt like I'm wearing today where the v-neck is a little bit higher up, I like to put it on the smaller one. Yeah, that's pretty much what it looks like on. I, as far as like measurements for this one, the original, let me just look online so I can give you the exact size for this one. So this one is 392 mm. So if you convert that into inches, it's about 15 and a half. But I honestly like my necklaces a little bit longer. I don't know. I guess I feel like I have like a longer neck or something. And like I said, a lot of times I do have V-necks like this. I actually asked if you can expand the uh, chain length and you actually can. So it's free of charge. And that's like another cool thing. That's like a perk versus like the Van Cleef and Arpel. I remember I asked about that one but you only had something like three months to get it done and then within those three months of you purchasing it say if like the fourth month you decided like I actually really just want to lengthen it they would charge you but for Cartier I remember asking them and just like no you can come anytime even if you don't like the length after you get it done still free of charge we can do it for you again which is really cool so basically for me I already just knew right off the bat that I wanted to get that done so I think they ended up lengthening it for me another 1.5 inches so I think it's honestly closer to 17 inches this one it took a while I want to say it was like a full month that they had to like get it done and lengthen it for me and then obviously once they were done they just called me up and let me know that it's back in the store for me to pick up and then they cleaned it for me you get another bag too which is pretty cool that's pretty much that process 
as far as also of how it comes they also do have different colors so like I mentioned I got the yellow gold but you also can get the white gold and then you also can get the pink gold which is like more so the rose gold i'm definitely a, a type of person who loves gold when it comes to jewelry i used to love rose gold but like now i'm not even the biggest fan of rose gold anymore so yeah just so you know in case like you're not a fan of yellow gold they have those other options as well and then as far as like packaging what it comes in basically this is just the box that it comes in and then it comes with a bigger box as well that you I, you can see in the unboxing that I have too of that and then it also comes with a certificate definitely make sure for every Cartier piece that you get you get the certificate otherwise like say if in the long run I don't know if you did want to sell it obviously that adds more value to it I remember for me it was really annoying because when I actually first got this necklace I didn't get a certificate and I was like watching all these reviews I'm like oh I don't know like because I was like thinking it was something like Chanel or something where they're not doing like the authentication card anymore it's like a chip so then I was like looking at videos online and I noticed that they still got their certificate so for some reason they like didn't give it to me but obviously I just messaged them or like I think I called my essay at the time and just asked if I could have their certificate and he was just like oh yeah sorry I guess I forgot to give it to you just like keep that in mind if you ever do want to get like some type of like Cartier piece to like make sure you always get the certificate with it I think that's pretty much all I have to say this was just a really quick review I like I said I've had this for a long time so it's not so much of an unboxing but if you guys do want to see that like I mentioned I do have the official unboxing from my birthday video make sure to leave a comment down below if you have any other questions Questions, I can happily answer them for you but pretty much I just wanted to do this video because like I said it's not like a necklace that's very known and like a lot of people make reviews about it so I want to say when I was like searching for this necklace I only saw like two or three reviews out there on YouTube so now you guys have a fourth review <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you guys out in my next video bye